This is Divorce, Happy, and Successful, the number one spiritually focused self-empowerment podcast for divorced parents that's dedicated to helping you live the fulfilling life you deserve and experience the happiness you long for. Let's get into today's show with our host, W. Mark Watts. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the podcast, Divorced, Happy, and Successful. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. And again, we're going to keep along the same lines with our success and happiness and celebration theme. And today's topic is we want to dig deeper into how to know if you need to celebrate. Because I get asked the question when I say, hey, we should celebrate ourselves and we should enjoy our lives and we should have fun. Sometimes we've forgotten to do it and we don't really recognize the signs. We don't know when we need to celebrate. So I thought, okay, let me take a step back and think about the things that I know are warning signs and and tips for me to make sure that I uh, really start to celebrate myself. And I remember to do that on a consistent basis because I will raise my hand. I'll be one of the first in line to say that I do a horrible job of celebrating myself You know, after you make so many mistakes in your life, you start to really forget that when you do something well, even no matter how small it is, even if you learn how to cook a new meal, you know, you should celebrate these little things. Now, I'm not saying you throw yourself a big party when you do small things, but whatever keeps your energy high, whatever motivates you, that's what you have to do. So today's episode, I'm going to give you three ways to know If it's time for you to celebrate. So number one, first and foremost is if you've noticed yourself, you look in the mirror a lot and you notice that you are not smiling and you can tell when you're not smiling. You have a whole different energy about you. Your shoulders aren't up and straight. Your head's not lifted up. Your step is a little bit slower. You're not smiling. If you're constantly upset, you're constantly worried, you're constantly thinking about things that aren't happening, that aren't going right in your life, there's no way that you can be smiling. So if you look at yourself in the mirror, let's say three, four, five times a day, and every time you look in that mirror, you're not smiling, then that is a huge giveaway that you have some things, you have some areas of improvement, and you definitely need to find something to celebrate. And the reason why is because By celebrating your victories, your small successes, it moves your energy. It shifts your energy. It gives your brain the whole thought process of that, hey, something went right. Regardless of all the things that you may be challenged with in the moment, being able to celebrate that one thing unequivocally tells your brain, hey, we're doing something different. Something's going our way. It shifts the energy and now you can start to set yourself up for success because you all know I'm really, really big on setting yourself up for success. It doesn't just happen by by happenstance. You know, good things in life, it really just don't come out of nowhere. What I've learned and what I've experienced and what I've studied is seems to be true. And that is this people plan for success. And the better planner you are and the more that you're all in favor of doing good things for you and your family, the higher the likelihood that those things will happen and it increases the chances that they'll happen faster. So you've got to plan. You've got to really take this thing seriously because those who plan tend to get more than those who don't. All right. Number two is if you're uncomfortable or you get upset whenever I mention celebrating yourself, celebrating your successes, because like we all do enough of celebrating other people, but we don't talk about, you know, celebrating ourselves. And anytime here's the, here's another warning sign. Another tip. Anytime something happens in my life and I get upset about it or I feel uncomfortable, I know right away that that's an opportunity of improvement for me. I know that something, there's a lesson there. So I have to dig deeper, ask myself, what makes me feel uncomfortable? Why did I get mad? Because whenever I'm upset or uncomfortable, that means I'm not in balance with with the flow, with the spirit, with the universe, with God, whatever you want to call it. 
I'm not in tune and in balance with my higher power because only when I'm not in balance will I be upset or uncomfortable. Otherwise, I'm going to feel good about it and I'm going to be ready to rock and roll. So if you're not comfortable, and you're not ready to rock and roll. Take a look at it because here's an opportunity for you to celebrate something in your life. Number three, the last one here for the day is you're doing everything for everyone else but yourself. So if you look around and you're going to parties or you're helping someone move or you're cooking dinner or you get you let somebody borrow your last ten dollars and you turn around and then you haven't done anything for yourself. Your emotional success tank is on E and you really don't have anyone that's really pulling for you or doing anything for you or you just tapped out and you don't have anything else, you don't know what else to do, that's an opportunity to celebrate. So now that I've told you that you really need to celebrate, here's something to keep in mind. It doesn't have to be some extravagant celebration. I do some things as simple as exercise, or I may go walk in the park, or I may cook dinner for myself, or I may make a drink for myself, or I might go to a movie. I really love movies. So I'll, if there's something out that I really like, I'll go by myself. It doesn't really matter. But find something that really and that, you know, that is in your realm of possibility that you can do and just do it because it makes you feel good, period. doesn't have anything else to do with anybody else. I mean, it could be a nice bubble bath. It may be a massage. It could be talking on the phone with someone that you haven't spoken with in a while that you really want to talk to, listening to your favorite music. There are millions of different ways to celebrate yourself and take time for you. So please, please, please do it. Now, having said that, I'm going to let you go with this episode today. Hopefully something in this served you. If it did, if it's time for you to celebrate, take it seriously and do it. Now I'm going to challenge you also. If you choose to celebrate, I want you to send me an email I will respond to you. Let me know what you're doing to celebrate yourself. And I want to praise you for doing that. Send me an email to support at wmarkwatts.com. That is support at wmarkwatts.com. Send me a quick note. Let me know what you're doing to celebrate yourself. I'll reply back to you. I'll be so excited and so happy for you. And the bottom line is you will be the winner because it's going to make you feel better. So sir, share this episode with someone else who needs to celebrate. Check us out. Check out some of the old episodes. Stay tuned. Got a lot of great stuff coming up for you in the future. Till we talk again, do the very best you can for yourself and for everybody around you. That will lead you to your own personal post-divorce paradise, and you absolutely deserve it. Take care. Talk with you soon. Bye now. You've been listening to the Divorce Happy and Successful Podcast. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to leave us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. Until next time, stay focused and keep moving forward.